Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How are you all doing today? Thank you very much for joining. If you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe. If you haven't yet already, thank you to those of you that have. So I finished pulling up my preview on my laptop. And we are good. Alright. Thank you very much for joining in everyone. As you can see by the title of today's video... One of my more popular requests, I'm going to be trying to recreate Kurt Busch's 2013 flip in the Aaron's 499 at Talladega Super Speedway. And just to refresh your memory, I'm going to play this on mute, just so it doesn't get flagged for anything. But yeah, with six laps to go, J.J. Yaley gets a bump from Stenhouse, he gets into Kurt Busch. And you guys know the rest. You guys have seen this one plenty of times. So here comes Stenhouse. He gets a bump. He rebumps Yaley, which sends him into Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch tumbles once. Lands on top of Ryan Newman. And a few others get involved. Uh, Boyer, Gordon, Yaley obviously. Newman. Uh, Danica Patrick was involved. Alright, let's get one more view. This famous view. They're interviewing J.J. Yaley right there. Oh, I just realized I didn't even sh switch over. Here we go. Now you guys can see the wreck. That was dumb of me. I forgot to switch the window. So yeah, just like I said, uh, Stenhouse uh, bumps into Yaley, trying to make it four wide on the outside. Let's turn this half speed. Yeah, uh, Stenhouse tries going up the outside of Yaley. And then Yaley doesn't see him there. He gets bumped, uh, collects Ambrose, and then that hook into Kurt Busch sends Kurt Busch over. Meanwhile, Boyer's involved. Ambrose is involved. Kurt Busch tumbles on top of Newman. McMurray's kind of involved. Terry Labonte in the 32. Danica Patrick. Gordon spins. And yeah, that's about it. We'll get a view from this, from this angle. That's why I love about 60 frames a second. You can slow it down half speed and it's still 30 frames a second. Nice slow tumble in super slow motion. He goes over once. It looks like he was going to start tumbling a lot more, but then he gets drilled by Ryan Newman. And you can see the sparks from everyone else behind them slamming on the brakes. And their bumpers, their front bumpers hitting the pavement. Alright, so yeah, you guys have seen this wreck before. No need to watch it a million more times. Alright, and let's get started. Unfreeze the chat. Here we have Kurt Busch's 2013 number 78 Furniture Row Chevy. Is that an Impala? Or a Camaro? I have no idea. I think an Impala at this point. And for the opponent manager, I took most of the cars that were in that pack. I had to track down a few special car sets like I didn't have uh, Yaley's. Golden Corral number 36. I had to go get that. Find that. All the paint schemes I tracked down were from either Outlaw Graphics. Uh, go check them out. Or NN Racing. All the others were recycled from the 2013 Team SBR car set. But yeah, I had to go get this one. I had to find the 
Number 39, Haas Racing for Ryan Newman. I find Jeff Gordon's Im Imran Elite. It's not the exact same paint scheme, but it's by far the closest I could find. What other special ones do I have to find? I think that's the main ones. Oh yeah, David Stremmies. I had to find his Lean One. Number 30, Toyota Camry. All right. So that I showed you some of the main cars. Let's get started. We're going to be using Talladega 2014. So that's one of the closest I could find. Realistic everything. All right, let's go. Right off the bat, I will tell you the few things I edited off the uh, for this track I and I. Turn the track temperature down so you can get up to speed quicker. But I kept the restrictor plates on, so it's still uh, number four for the chassis type. Turn the grip up to around 2.6, 2.7. So when I get clipped, I can start tumbling. I think I turned the bump drafting, or the dis drafting distance and bunching distance down a little bit. And I think I turned the panic decel down a bit too. Those are the all the changes I believe I've made. All right, so Oops, didn't mean to do that. So let's see where everyone qualified. Because in that replay, as you saw, Kenseth was leading, and then Johnson, Edwards were near the front. So I'm going to... I maxed out Matt Kenseth's qualifying and his super speedway stats. So it's just a matter of attempts before we get Kenseth in. First, eighth. What is that BS? So yeah, we bear with me. We just need to do a couple resets so we can get the right qualifying order I need. Matt Kenseth, Johnson's near the front. Drivers, Along Boyer, Yaley's back here a little bit. Oh well, but uh, okay, we'll try this one. And I know it was cloudy. Uh, in real life, but I can always just change that afterwards. So since we got a decent qualifying order, I'm not going to risk losing that just to try to get a cloudy session, and I can change that later on. I know every single car is in, this, in this car set isn't perfect. I think I'm missing uh, Michael Waltrip's yeah, it says Mark Martin in here, but I think it was Michael Waltrip racing in this race. So that paint scheme isn't perfect. There's a couple paint schemes that aren't perfect, but not everything about the AI is going to be perfect. Can I say perfect more times? So yeah, this has been one of my more requested reenactments you guys have asked me to try. I wish I could get another qualifying session where Yaley is slightly closer to the front too, the number 36. All right, so Kurt Busch was near the front on the inside line. So I'm just gonna get clipped by a car or just turn hard right myself and try to land on Newman, who is right behind me and see how many other cars pile up. So you can see we're going a little faster than we should be, but not nearly as fast as if I took the restrictor plates off. All right, so nearing the uh, turn three. All right. There goes Yaley. All right, so that was a fail of a first attempt. Well, let's look at the replay anyway. Hey, sweet, this is really similar to the TV camera they had for that shot when he comes rolling past. All right, next attempt. You're parked at a bad angle.
So I'll try a couple more. Then I might try another qualifying order. Maybe tr uh, change around a few track or settings in the track I and I. Chevy SS. Okay. So as long as Kenseth's near in the lead, it's my main goal for the AI having Kenseth in the lead and being able to land on Newman. Hopefully, take out a few of the other cars that were involved in real life, like Boyer. Gordon, Danica. And yes, I know I don't have Amarillo's correct paint scheme. It's a similar one. I changed it from that Smithsfield one, or the other one it was, but... I know all the paint schemes aren't perfect. Someone else went flipping too, I think. Let's see what that one looked like. Yaley, that was flipping again. And then it was Truex Jr. started rolling over. Next, we're on attempt number three. I'll try a couple more, just like I said, and then I'll maybe try changing the qualifying order a little bit. I want Yaley to be a little bit closer. And the tricky thing with the way the track settings are that I have, because I turn the grip up to be able to roll over once I get sideways. But that means once I land on Newman, I need to be facing, like, forward or backwards. And once I get up into the outside wall, I can't turn sideways at all. Similar to how he did in real life, but could be... Eh. Because if I'm sideways on top of Newman, and I come down and hit the pavement, the heightened grip is instantly just going to roll me over and tumble me more. Which I can't have for the sake of the reenactment. So, if I start tumbling and I land on top of Newman, I need to be facing forward. So the heightened grip doesn't keep tumbling me more than I need to have happen if I hit the asphalt sideways. Kenseth in the lead. Perfect. Newman right behind us. Maybe I'll try getting clip from, like, Stewart or someone else. No, oh, he's not in the right position. Yaley flips for the third time in a row. I was other going through with the uh, attempt how Kurt Busch did, how he kind of went down the banking slowly, facing forward. But I was almost on top of Newman there for a second, right there. But nope, not close. Then we have Yaley. Taking my thunder. Whoa, look at Ambrose, too. Ambrose did a perfect flip. Burton flipped as well. And Yaley and Labonte. Jesus. So it was five rollovers in one wreck. Alright, two more tries, and then I'll try maybe changing the qualifying order a little bit.
Yeah, Yaley sent Labonte over by tumbling on top of him. Ruining my fuel. didn't sound like sound was coming out of my left speaker, but it is. Oh yeah, because all the cars are to the right of me, duh. <laughs> duh. There we go, now sound's coming out of the left speakers. Alright, so Kenseth is in front. Landed on the wrong person's hood. First I land on Johnson's hood and then then Edwards. Let's take a look what that looked like from Edwards on board. Four wide right off the bat. <laughs> I want to see what that looked like from Edwards on board, or on Johnson's on board, too. He had a interesting view as well. I mean, initially flipping. At least no one else flipped over in that one this time. So at least I know I can get an attempt where everyone isn't flipping. Last attempt before I try switching up the qualifying order. See if I can get Newman maybe back a couple of spots. Fire truck. Jeez. Hope everyone's all right. I haven't had an issue with Kenseth keeping the lead, so that's good. As long as he qualifies in first, I know he can keep the lead. And Johnson was like in second or third, and there he goes, so sweet. At least that'll be somewhat on point. Oh, sorry, Burton. Nope. She 
you can't tell that the grip is turned up a little bit. Alright, let's try switching up the qualifying order. Alright, so we have Cloudy. Alright, we got Kenseth. Drivers to your cars. Alright, Newman's close enough to the front. We got Gordon. Yaley. Alright, so I'll try having Yaley spin me. See if I can start tumbling and then land on top of Newman, who's like a couple rows back. So we'll try this out. I racing technically has better, slightly better racing physics. It's way more updated, obviously, better graphics. But NASCAR Racing 2003 is way super unlimitedly expansive for free. Has better crash physics. And yeah, you don't have to pay an extra fifteen dollars to go race at Talladega. So I like iRacing slightly better for the racing, but NASCAR racing is really fun to mess around with. All right, so here we got Newman, and we got Yaley two cars up. So I'll try spinning out, having like Yaley spin me out, and see if while I'm tumbling I can land on top of Newman. Alright, Kenseth's in first. That doesn't look like an issue. Looks like he's staying in first. Alright, so I'm gonna try having Yaley send me over. Like in real life. And see if I can get lucky enough to land on Newman, who's a couple rows back. Nope, Newman went past. That's more cars piling in. Further up, I saw Danica involved. Yaley went too far to the outside. Next. Drivers, start your and yeah, the reason it's so cold is because that allows us to get up to speed quicker. Maybe I should turn it up a little bit if I tweak the I and I I'll adjust the temperature. Because yeah, it is a little too cold. Look at all the stupid cars with the damage glitch. Montoya Jet Dryer. If someone has some sort of track file or some sort of MIP to where you can have a little jet dryer chilling on the track in turns three for a night Daytona, I can take care of the CCM, the spin, the crash, and editing the fire in. I just have no idea how I'd take care of the jet dryer itself unless there's some sort of specialty track for that and or MIP. with a little bit of a little bit of a nudge. Ooh, that was close. Oh, 
Well, that was a hard crash. He just went right into the fence slash the corner of the concrete. He initially hit where there was no safer barrier. Next. Drivers, start your engines. Whoa, 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 slow down. I done Kenseth Flip 2016. As a matter of fact, I did. As one of the first few uh, reenactments I did when after I restarted up my YouTube channel. How do I make the cars faster? I turned the grip up and the temperature down in the track I and I file. But I kept the restrictor plates on. It's still at number four chassis type. Three, two, one, bump. All right, Kenseth's in the front. All right, at least I haven't had to worry about that this whole time. Here comes Yaley. They're four wide behind me. I'm sparking and bottoming out. I screwed that up. Jeez. Hey, we have Newman upside down on Talladega. Again. About the same spot that he was before. Well, that was an interesting one. Jeez. Did you see that collision between uh, Newman and Montoya? Let's take a look at that again. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I missed my opportunity to have Yaley hit me. Dang, they came flying off the inside wall. The Newman just destroyed him. Next. Drivers, start your engines. Jesus, do you see how hard uh, Edwards hit the wall? And I don't think he hit where there was a safer barrier. If you go to the track I and I file, if you go to the track asphalt grip and track concrete grip, set those to around 2.5, 2.6. You go down to where it says track temperature, set that, that to like negative 100. And that is setting similar to what I have right now. For anyone wondering how to get setting similar to what I'm using right now. I'm sure there's a couple other minor changes I can't remember off the top of my head, but that's basically the gist of how I got the settings like they are right now. Go, Kenseth, go. Be free. Alright, here comes Yaley.
Talk about an airborne wreck. I think that probably just took out a huge chunk of the catch fence. And sent Amarola over. Tony Stewart had a similar view there to the same view he had during Austin Dillon's wreck. Jeez. Amarola went flying hard into Ambrose. Yeah, let's look at the onboard from uh, Stewart. Arca breaks. All right, next. Drivers, start your engines. Travis Quapple flip. I will put that on my to-do list. I do not do fatal crashes. For anyone wondering, for obvious reasons. Took out a giant chunk of the catch fence right there, luckily, where there was no spectators. Alright, so I need to push Kenseth to the front, kind of back off a little bit, let Yaley get near me. Then have Yaley spin me out, hopefully start tumbling from the contact with Yaley. And then... Have Newman, who's a couple rows behind us, hopefully be lucky enough to land on his hood. Go up to turn f three and four. Oops. I accidentally started in third gear that time. Whoops. I messed that attempt up. This is why I turned the AI difficulty down so I can catch up. In the event of me screwing up. Hello, Edwards. It's the... It's the little clan the inside club of people that have flipped yeah, at Talladega. Kurt Busch, Edwards, and Newman. All within a span of like five years. Drivers, start your engines! Ugh. Save all your main suggestions for future videos for the comments. It's way easier for me to see them then, than on the chat. But I'm trying to glance at your suggestions, but they're flying past really quick. Like I saw Ben Kennedy truck crash. I think that one's already on my to-do list. I've got tons on my to-do list. <coughs> Excuse me. And a Setzer crash into the catch fence. I remember that. I remember watching that one live. That's a good one.
Ah, oh, Yaley's in the middle. See how this works out. Jeez, what happened to Yaley? He rolled over for like the we got trouble. In turn three. fifth time this stream. You know what I think happened? I think Mark Martin clipped where the safer barrier starts. Oh wait, no, that was up here more. That was just a hard crash. Let's see what happened to Yaley. He stole my thunder. Next. Drivers, start your engines. It's easy to have plenty of control over your car when you're in. When you have the grip turned way up. Ooh, that was close. I better review what my mods are doing after this chat. I hope none of them are getting drunk with power. As I see random messages getting quickly deleted that are being posted from loyal viewers. And from what I see of them before they get deleted, they're not even delete worthy. Review my mods after this stream to make sure none of them are getting drunk with power. Yaley. 
There's the AOE. Alright, there goes Newman. I think that was Gil and just took a huge roll. Looks like we lost that motor. I need to see what's going on here. Seriously, guys. Front. I got Yaley right behind and Toya. Sorry guys, but I have not seen or read anything that was deserving of Toaster Gaming to get timed out, so I might have to review who my mods are after this stream. People aren't getting deleted or banned because of personal vendettas that you guys can't handle. Didn't I specifically say yesterday just because people are disagreeing or fighting and can't fucking get along with one another 
or a mod doesn't give them the right to ban them or time them out or delete their messages. Strictly spam is the only thing that people can get deleted or messages deleted for. Remember when I said that? I think I might just have to go back to no mods at all. If the ones I do pick are just gonna get drunk with power and start <laughs> just banning people that they personally don't like but otherwise didn't break any rules that I put forth. Slowing down. Go. Alright, Yaley. God damn it, Yaley, stop going to the middle. I want you to stay on the outside. Come on, Yaley. Alright. We just have Stewart on the outside of him, so we'll be like three wide. That'll help me get sent over easier. Darn it. I didn't see what Toaster said initially, all I know is that he's been a loyal viewer for basically over a year. I didn't see what any he initially said, but all I saw was that he keeps been getting timed out because he was stating his displeasure towards you guys timing him out in the first place. And so yeah, basically you guys had a personal vendetta against him and thus kept timing him out, which is against my rules. Just because you don't like someone doesn't give you the right to ban them, or time them out, or delete their messages. The only messages you can delete are obvious spam where people are just smashing the keyboard and hitting enter every 10 seconds, or people saying someone should die, or repeat fatal crash requests that they don't stop asking. Not personal arguments, not because you can't get along with someone, not because someone has a different favorite driver than you. Only those three things are the reason you can delete someone's message. To my knowledge, I don't think Toaster Gaming said anyone should die. But yet he still got initially timed out. No! Cause the big one. Can we all now get along? gonna get along now. I don't know, I didn't need 
think I needed to put detailed rules in the description. I thought the rules for being a mod to prevent spam was pretty self-explanatory. You're there to help. If you can gain my trust enough, I'll eventually make you a mod to help me block spam in the live streams. If you get drunk with power and start banning people and timing people out and deleting people's message that you personally don't like, but they otherwise didn't break the rules I set forth, then you can unbecome a mod just as quick. So as long as we got that clarified, I thought that was kind of just a given. I didn't think I need to spell it out. No, I'm just explaining the rules so people aren't confused in the future. Let's all get along. That's all I want. It's for us to get along. No needless fighting in the chat. And to enjoy the videos. I thought that start looked good, but... Oh, that was close. I was close to a... Whoa. Gillen took a ride. I caught the tail end of that. I was close to landing on... Uh, Newman right here. It's close. Danica head on into the wall. I want to see the ride that Gilliland took. Probably from Amarola, yep, right there. Watch this. As he pulls up. What's his face? Uh, Ricky Craven flying down the banking. Take a look at this view. <laughs> All right, next. Drivers, start your engines. Man, a bunch of loud motorcycles out today. Everyone taking their Harleys out on the nice day. Luckily, there's no more fire trucks going by. too late into the stream to try changing a bunch of settings around so I'm just gonna keep continuing with the setup I've got of all my attempts being failed the one constant is uh, Matt Kent has always been in front so I can always count on that that he'll be leading if I get a good attempt in the middle of four wide. He is four wide right now. Whoa! I just pulled an Austin Dillon. Can't clear a black flag on a reef. <laughs> a 
Wow. Looked like Jeff Gordon was going to pull a Joe Nemechek at Nashville and keep keep going after he tumbled. Looked like he was going to straighten out and keep going right here, but then he got hit by Gilliland. Hold on, there's another... What kind of hit did Amarola take? Looked like he was going to drill the inside wall. And he did. Alright, let's see that flip one more time. He got stuck right in the fence. Take a look what that looked like on board. Ambrose avoiding the big one like a boss. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. You blew the engine. Yeah, no shit. I want to see Ambrose is on board. Because <laughs> it looked like he was about to drill Gordon. Yep, kind of. Alright, next. Ow, oh, my back. Start your engine. Ow. Well, luckily that didn't happen to Kurt Busch in real life. I'm going to try to hit the pace car. Summon the spirit of Cole Trickle. Like Kurt Busch did in that one paint scheme he had. Become one with the pace car. Sweet. J.J. Yaley made a move to the outside, so he's in good position. All right, perfect. Come on, Newman, where are you? Aww. change the view. Where was Newman? There he was. Next. Drivers, start your engines. I don't care if you guys swear in the chat, by the way. Don't start making up your own rules. I don't care if you swear. 
God knows if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen that I do it plenty. Turn up the chassis crib and go as a different car. I might have to try that for part two. I might be Yaley. Probably gonna be the third to last attempt. I have stuff to do before I go to work later tonight. to the middle. Where's Yaley? Here's Yaley. Ah, there goes Newman. Newman keeps running past. Drivers, start your engine. Do Austin Terrios crash? Is that alright that I do that? Wasn't that like. Didn't he have borderline serious injury? Eh, injuries from that? His Las Vegas truck wreck, I'm assuming we're talking about. Alright, second to last attempt. I think I saw Montoya flipping. Nope. Just bouncing around. Alright, last attempt. Drivers, start your engine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ugh. If you guys could please subscribe if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Check out my social media links down in the description. No fatal crashes, by the way, for suggestions. Mm, 
fucking morons. <laughs> on this last attempt. Come on, Yaley. I need you to be in the right position. First of all. Whoa. Come on. That was, the way he started to flip was actually really close. And it didn't look too exaggerated. And I started tumbling the right way and Ryan Newman was right there. Right there. Oh, he was right there. He should have hit me. But the way I started to flip was basically perfect. And I, that actually gives me an idea. I, next time I want to stay Kurt Busch but kind of nudge uh, Yaley next to me to do that. Because that was perfect. I nudged him and then he got into Junior. So then he got back into me and sent me over with the weight shift more naturally without me having to just crank the wheel hard right and fly up into the outside wall. I'm gonna save that just as a thumbnail. Oh, that was close. That was super close. And a little gentle flip into the grass at the end. So close. Hurt. Bush. Team flip. Attempt. Alright, give a like to the video for that attempt. I know it wasn't perfect, obviously, but that was by far the closest I got yet. And I know some things I can try doing for uh, part two. Some do's and don'ts to try. Alright, thanks guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Check out my links down in the description. Ba 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 ba. Mumble mouth much. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Have a good, uh, good rest of your day. Peace.